Hi, Steve Caster here. I want to talk today about um, HTML, in particular HTML5 and the way that we structure a page in HTML5. So HTML5 is this new standard for HTML, the most recent version of the standard, uh, and it introduces a few new elements and ways to structure the page um, uh, at the highest level. Um, so let's just look at the overall shape of an HTML file. I'm using this codepen.io uh, website that allows me to have a look at some HTML code and the uh, way that it looks on the, uh, in the same uh, page. So I've got a, a, a page here. I've collapsed the um, elements here so that you can just see the overall structure. We look at the top of the file first. We can see this doc type HTML, and this is something that's required in HTML5. And it basically informs the browser that you are using HTML5 and that allows it to make some assumptions about what you're trying to do and how it should interpret and understand the code. So that's important if you are going to follow the HTML5 standard uh, and you do know what you're doing to include that. And that's the first part of it. Then we've got the HTML tag. Uh, and in the HTML tag, we have an attribute, uh, which is a language attribute that says that we're going to be writing in English. EN is the uh, code for the language English. And then within this HTML we have the head and the body tags. The head tag is where we put metadata about the page. And this, in this case I've got the very simplest form of metadata which is just the page title that would appear in the browser tab for example or might appear in a search engine result. Uh, but we could also have uh, style sheets, keywords, other metadata that is included in that head tag. And then I have the body tag, and the body is where the content of the page goes. Now here you could start just putting paragraphs and images and things like that in, but I've structured it as well, and HTML5 gives me some new tags to structure the way that you lay out a page. And so I've used some of these here. The first is the nav tag, that's the navigation. So if you look at that, that's just an, uh, an unordered list of links and that renders up here just as a fairly simple unordered list of links that you can you can see but that's the navigation element of the page that takes me of my site that might take me to other parts of the site other pages on the site uh, then i have a header um, a header here just contains the single h1 header the primary header in the page that appears there as a, as a large font uh, header then I've just thrown in this little example of a menu, uh, not that it makes a lot of sense in this page, but this might be something that you would use in an application like uh, an editor or something like that, where you have various actions that you can carry out. And here the on-click bit corresponds to uh, a bit of JavaScript that would be called if you clicked on those, those buttons. Uh, but here that sort of behaves like a list, and I've got list items in there as well. Um, and then here I have a section, and this is where I might have the main body of my content. So I've got uh, an image, a figure here with an image in it and a caption, and then a couple of paragraphs of uh, junk text there. So these are rendered here as you would expect. And so the, the section is where you might have the main body and content. And you could have obviously more than one section in any given page. And then right at the bottom I've got my footer, which is just my little bit of copyright information. Uh, you can see here I've used this ampersand copy uh, semicolon uh, construct. This is an entity reference and it is rendered here as this little uh, copyright sign. So this is the, how you type something in HTML where you can't actually type it. Well, these days you could paste a Unicode character in there but that makes it easy to type it on a regular keyboard. Um, so that's my footer. So there I have the overall layout of a page. Now you can see on the right hand side though where it's rendered or most of these elements don't actually make any difference to the way the page looks, right? Uh, my uh, navigation doesn't look much like a navigation bar, it's just a list. And my menu is really just a list and the figure and the caption are just images and a bit of text and a paragraph. And, and my footer is just stuff at the end of the page. So why do we bother structuring the page like this? The answer comes in the way that we style the page. So all of these things here are really just keys so that we can style the page in a way that uh, makes it look good and have a consistent layout for the navigation, for menus and so on. And so what I need to do, I've got no style sheet at the moment, no CSS style sheet. What I need to do is to add a style sheet in here. 
let's add one in that I've prepared earlier. And suddenly we get a, a quite a different layout of the page. My navigation here is looks a bit more like a navigation bar. My headers in nicely formatted. Uh, my menu bar, my figure here is small and, and just flush to the left. And my footer has a nice line over the top of it. And I've, what I've done is to use these uh, element names, footer, fig caption, uh, nav, and so on, uh, in the style sheet. So they all provide sort of hooks for me to add style information to the elements of the page. And that's how those pages are structured. So these are high level structures within the HTML5 page and things that you should use when you're structuring a page and laying it out. And uh, that's the basics of the overall structure of an HTML5 page.